What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today we are watching the video from my wedding. I'm super, super excited about this. I got to shoot it myself because we did the whole like COVID-19 wedding where no one was there and we just live streamed it all to my family and yeah i'm super excited about showing you guys uh because it's a super special moment and i also wanted to say thank you to kyle you did a spectacular job dude and it's so special to me that my lifelong fishing buddy gets to or i got to officiate my wedding and just it's just so cool man that's just super awesome you did an excellent job especially with such little notice other than that we are having our wedding like our actual ceremony on April 24th next year. So it'll be on our one year anniversary and we're just gonna do like a marriage celebration. It's basically gonna be like a wedding without actually getting married. It's just gonna be like sort of, it's just gonna be the same thing without getting married. It's gonna be an anniversary party. So uh, yeah, super excited about that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the video and I'll catch y'all later. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's All do right. It. Okay. Let's do it. Hello, family and friends. Unfortunately, most of us aren't here today due to un unfortunate circumstances, but we've been brought together in spirit to celebrate and support Justin and Andrea Lightcap as they openly proclaim their love to each other. I hope that many of you are able to watch as it is a moment in time that we all rejoice in. But we do not stop here. We do not stop to continue to support them. Just as their love for each other does not stop here. Nor did it simply start here either. Their story began on February 6, 2016 at a Cheddar's in Waco of all places. <laughs> and I'm sure if you asked them then, they would have had no idea that moment would lead to this day. Being close friends with them for a while now, I've had the pleasure of observing over the years just why these two incredible people have come to love each other so much. Growing up with Justin, his passion and commitment for what he loved was apparent through his actions. I can't think of many 13 year olds that would call their friend long before the sunrise just to <laughs> fish. But sure as the sun would rise, that would get that phone call. His desire to strive hard and improve himself in all facets of life have made him an uplifting companion, as Dre can testify. <laughs> All the while, Dre brings to the picture qualities that potentiate their strengths together, offering compassion and thoughtful intent to lift up those she is surrounded by. They encourage each other to take on the challenges that come on their way, and they always rise above them, not alone, but together. As many of you married folks out there know, I'm talking to y'all, <laughs> marriage is not a paved road up a hill. Rather, it is a rocky, narrow path up a mountain. But it does offer a <laughs> breathtaking view of the world around us. It is a path that requires teamwork and communication. Just like a team climbing Everest, you just can't do it alone, okay? There's a beautiful and telling quote by, by Fawn Weaver, it goes like this. The greatest marriages are built on teamwork, a mutual respect, a healthy dose of admiration. All these building, oh, and a never ending portion of love and grace. All these building blocks for a healthy marriage are actions of choice, okay? We choose to admire and respect our partner because of the view we decide to see them through. We choose to love them and to feel graced by their presence. Each and every day, we must make that choice and not grow complacent. Just like growing a garden, not all days will be full of bright sunshine, but the clouds will always break eventually, okay? Our job is to continually water and nurture the garden to pick out the weeds and bugs that threaten it so that y'all may enjoy the fruits of your labor together. Once again, not alone. 
And I've seen y'all's backyard garden. <laughs> and I have no doubt in my mind. But y'all know the amount of patience and diligence it takes. It's beautiful to see the way y'all share passion and excitement in the things y'all do together. Like fishing this creek here. Y'all can think of many occasions where y'all been out here, right? All the times y'all enjoy it together. Or like creating things, all sorts of work together in y'all's little in-house factory that y'all come <laughs> up with lately. I look forward to watching y'all create a beautiful garden together in this life together. Now let's make this official. Justin, Dre, Justin, first, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. Do you have the ring? I do. Okay. Repeat after me. I, I Justin, Justin, take you, take you Andrea, Andrea, as my wife, as my wife, with your faults and with strengths, your faults, with your faults and strengths, as I offer myself, as I offer myself, with my faults and strengths, <laughs> with my faults and strengths. I will help you. I will help you when you need help. When you need help. And turn to you. And turn to you when I need help. When I need help. I love you now. I love you now. And always. And always. I choose you. I choose you as the person to whom. As the person to whom I will spend my life. I'll spend my life. Justin, if you'll place the ring on Dre's finger. Dre, are you ready? Repeat after me, Dre. I, Andrea. I, Andrea. Take you. Take you. Justin. Justin. As my husband. As my husband. With your faults. With your faults. And strengths. And strengths. As I offer myself. As I offer myself. With my yeah. faults. With my faults. And strengths. And strengths. I will help you. I will help you. When you need help. When you need help. And turn, to you and turn to you when I need help. When I need help. I love you now. I love you now. And always. And always. I choose you. I choose you. As the person with whom. As the person with whom. I spend my life. I want to spend my life. Trey, you go ahead and place the ring on Justin's finger. Real quick, I'd like to say a prayer for the two of y'all. Father, we come before you today. Uh, we thank you for this beautiful day and this occasion. Uh, unfortunately, circumstances prevent us from coming together in celebration, although we are all here in spirit as we uplift Justin and Dre, Lord, uh, in their marriage. We ask that you place your hand over them. Uh, be with them, Lord. Uh, allow them to lift each other up day in and day out. Allow them to be reminders of what love is as they look at each other each morning. Uh, Lord. I ask that you take the community around them and you uh, allow them to circle around this couple, Lord, and keep them strong uh, through these changing times. Uh, Lord, you give them confidence through the people around them and each other that they may have a beautiful and healthy marriage together, Lord. All these things we ask in your son's name. Amen. Justin and Dre, today you all have made a promise to each other in front of the ones you love. And we all make a promise to y'all. A promise to support and encourage y'all through the journey. I want y'all to know that y'all always have a support system surrounding y'all through friends and family, okay? And with great pleasure, through the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Y'all may now kiss. Of you. <laughs> Folks, I introduce y'all. I introduce y'all, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Minton. Yay! Yay! Let's <laughs> clap for ourselves since there's no one to clap. <laughs> okay, y'all can all take a seat now. <laughs> you can take yourself off. Congratulations, y'all. Thanks, Thanks. Thank I couldn't you be so happier much, for y'all. Well, thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, like I said, uh, April 24th, 2021 is going to be the actual ceremony. So y'all didn't miss out on the whole thing. We just actually made it happen. Um, and we're still going to do like the big ceremony and stuff. 
So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time on Duke's Outfitters.